Can you hear me now? There you are. Yes. I don't know what the fuck, man. I'm going, it's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The internet was (laughs) unstable or, you know, for a minute there or something. And it kind of messed things up. Hard telling. But I'm here now in all my glory. So I know. You're welcome, viewer. Wow. (laughs) I was just getting ready to chuck it. Yeah, well, hey, we fixed it up, bud. We got it. Hey, I'm ready to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, brother. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I was chatting with Amber Dawn. Uh, because this was you know her idea. Yeah. So I just let her know because she was really excited. She actually shared her top five list with me a couple days ago. Oh, and cool. We actually were there was some a crossover on some of the ones that we she had that like I had considered as well. Mm-hmm. So. Interesting. This is Crucifix from Titanic Tico, and you're listening to Rabbit Metal. I am Montag, Master of Illusion. What goes up must come down, but not always. Hey, this is Chop Top. And the title of this this segment says everything you need to know. You rock it. You are watching and listening to Heavy, Heavy. Metal Horror. <laughs> oh. Good thing Dredd's not here. He would be ripping on how the lag, the time lag between our two time zones are. Uh, is it's um, today, kitties? We're going to talk about our top five worst metal album covers of all time we've already done a show our top five best album covers of all time i think that was one of our great shows that was one of our best shows we've done really cool uh, you know we we got the uh term murray sausage from that yes. one yes yeah. and, uh, a blast. the a last blast. and loin um <laughs> <laughs> yeah that Murray was, sausage stand yeah <laughs> that was good yeah 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 um <laughs> But uh, today's show is actually inspired by our fan and friend, Amber Dawn, uh, because she loved the episode and she put down her top uh, album covers. And she's like, why don't you just do a worst album covers? I'm like, hmm, we will. So Amber Dawn, (laughs) thank you. This episode's for you. Uh, All right, uh, Chop you want to go first with your number five pick i'm sure. i'm i'm guessing we might have one or two that that could cross over but i don't know uh, i don't know um this might be an interesting you might get some surprises too but i yeah uh i because i i could choose so many of these so i just I off know. the top of my head it's hard. picking only all. five yeah. was really difficult yeah yeah because there's a lot of fucking crappers right <laughs> so, for my number five this is when Mike Howe rejoined the band Metal Church in his first release with them. It's Metal Church 11. Okay. And there's just, it's got this like smoky haze or fog over a partial par- part of a guitar, part of the body. And it's just like, oh, so that's this a guitar. Is you, oh. Yeah. So this is what you put out for your return of Mike Howe, one of the greatest metal vocalists that lived, you know, wow. second finger Metal Church. And I'm just thinking, yeah, I mean, in the inside sleep, a nice picture of the band but that's it yeah. this is what your return was about i'm like okay done so yeah that's my first one because metal church has some great covers the iconic first one the dark yeah. um and there's some others but I we're think, fans yeah, we like the so band fun. right we love them like, yeah yeah i, I get that hey I, I get that it's that's really not, plain yeah that's not uh nothing, that's not the good it's not a good nothing one. real creative about it just okay i mean i think it's trying to harken back to like hey we're back we're back with mike and kind of taking off from the the first album cover where you had the guitar with all like the weeds around it and right. kind of spooky. And I think they tried a little bit on that, but this is, yeah, for a return of one of the greatest metal vocalists, you know, coming back at a metal church, one of my favorite bands. This is, this is pretty, yeah, average. This is, I think a, a kid in high school could have did this. So, but that's my number five. All right. Well, that's great. Uh, my number five is, um, a band that we all we all know and we all love. Um, <laughs> yes, I knew you were going to pick this. This is why I didn't. So, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, but I, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, I knew we would cross over on this one. Uh, <laughs> you know, pulling out all the guns. This one looks like uh, made by a guy who saw a video on how to do Photoshop um, on YouTube and then said, hey, what the hell? I'll give it a try. Uh, yeah, it, it's just, you know, if we hadn't had all these great covers before this, you know, from Derek Riggs, all these wonderful Absolutely. painted covers, we might think this is a little cooler, you know, mm -hmm. but it, it looks like they don't look like people. Well, they are badly CG rendered people, but they look more like mannequins, you know, yeah. it's yeah. like they're mannequins. Um, and uh, even the dog looks bad. If it had been painted in the, in the style, like the horrible tortured Baroque style of like rain and blood, you know, mm -hmm. that, that would be really cool. Um, yeah. You know, that, but, but this is just, this is just really uh, just sad. And, even uh, Ed, even Eddie on that Montag is kind of uninspiring the way he looks on that cover. It's just yeah, like, yeah, he's just gonna point at you. I'm like, yeah, okay, well, all right, that's <laughs> an excellent choice because I would have chose that as well. So. Yeah, it's anyway. But uh, there, there's my number five. There's my number five. I'm gonna piggyback a little bit on that Dance of Death one just by saying this that I think you could have put Virtual Eleven in that too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have that, and you know, there's no reason to have that album, anyways. But because uh, it sucks. But you looked at this fucking thing, and it's it, you know, and it's like, okay, Virtual Love is even worse than Day of Death, and I think that those two albums. An album covers, cover, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It was painted. It was in your face, and I'm thinking mm -hmm. like, like, uh, was it the X Factor was also that you know, it was what Eddie in some kind of electric chair or something kind of yeah, something yeah, like that, kind of, yeah, yeah, or kind of, Alien, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That wasn't bad though. I could accept no, no, that. No, no, no. And I'm also um, thinking about the album. Yeah, Virtual Eleven is 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 not a not a good album. Not a good album. No. When two Remember seeing them on that tour? Oh. Yeah, sadly. No. Um, yeah, everybody's <sighs> leaving like halfway through the set. Yeah. Oof. So. Never, um, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. That was our number fives. Now, uh, number four, Chop Top. What is your uh, number four? This is a band we love to poke fun at. And me oh, and Monte are fans from a long time ago. Oh, but I'm going with. Are they going to, yeah, you know, I was going to say, I was going to say, you wanted the best. <laughs> this ain't it. You wanted the worst. You got the worst. You got oh, it. Animal. Number four worst album cover in the world. <laughs> yeah. Animal I mean, I mean, we always make, because it's just, it's, it's not a good album. No. And Shit. But then you got, I mean, this is what you come up with. You come back there, you take off the makeup and lick it up, and you come back with, wow, that's inspiring, isn't it? Makes me want yeah. to go out and get some loincloths. And, it's almost yeah. as bad. It's like a little it's like one, two steps away from Sonic Boom. Yeah. You know? And then, and, and, and the back photo of the band is not really, that's that's just not good either. So, I mean, <laughs> they look uncomfortable. Young and waste, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were trying to find their form and who they were post makeup, you know? Yeah. Existential crisis. But yes, that's a stinkeroo. <laughs> um i i you know i actually think one worse than that is the um was it the crazy nights what's the what's the one next one is it what's the one oh, after that uh asylum yes asylum with the four, like the, four, the four neon faces yeah i think that yeah. one might be a little <laughs> little worse just because it's so hard to look at those the garish colors um okay my number four uh this is a band called snatch <laughs> I, and this album's called if the party's in your mouth i'm coming that's the name of the album i know it's pretty awesome, exciting man. yeah and, and uh <laughs> well i think you know for me i i i don't I know they're just really wearing the i mean it's a horrible cover and it's like a yeah, yeah. primary color nightmare um, yeah, you know, but I'm just trying to imagine on what universe this sounded like a good idea. You know, like it's a very spinal tap kind of thing, unless they're trying to be silly. But I don't yeah. know. Um, and yeah. I don't. I don't want to see their crotches at my eye level. That's just it. No, like no, I'm, Eddie, I, 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 I don't. But the party is not in my mouth. Yeah, I don't want that party. Yeah, that's <laughs> not my party. Hey, if that's your party, great. Good for you. Love the band name though, Snatch. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, um, this is not the only spinal tap like album 
that I have uh, come across. But, oh, but so uh, yeah, it's, it's some of these bands I, I was unfamiliar with. I'm like, huh. Yeah, that one, I mean, it's definitely 80s. You got the, the look of the, the 80s. It's yeah. you know, all hair metalish. Hair yeah. metal, you know, where we're all, we're all wearing spandex. They're on the glammy side. Their hair's all poofy. And, uh, but then they're trying to be uh, kind of that hyper sexualized. You know, we're gonna stuff our yeah. cod pieces, and we're gonna like say we're gonna we're gonna have sex. We're gonna sex you all. Yeah. Uh, how that be a good name for a band? Sex yeah. you all. Yeah. Sexual. Like Let's a song. put the X in sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love is like a muscle, and you make me wanna flex. <laughs> yeah, more kiss references. Kid. Magic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that made my, that's one of my favorite Paul Stanley vocals is the Folgers commercial for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, pretty powerful piece, guys. Look it up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bad. That's bad. Um, okay, that was my number four. <laughs> Woo! We got the sneakers coming. Um, Chop, what is your number three worst yeah. album cover of all time? Number three, probably my top two favorite bands of all time. But still, it sucks. Black Sabbath, Technical Ecstasy. Oh. Now, the whole idea behind this, I guess, was a concept of machines having sex. And I'm like, yep. Yeah, oh, I don't, don't get the connection, yeah. but that's yeah. supposedly what I, it was. The robots got the connection, literally right there on those. Yeah. Does someone have robot envy? I mean, that's... <laughs> And you know, this is one, you know, they were on Where the is it coming out of? of? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is that a robot crotch? What is up? But, and on the back cover, they got, you know, this is the picture of the band that kind of painted in. It's like, eh. Now, the album, I actually, I actually love, like this album. They went for a more classic rock feel on it. Um, but there's what a couple are some of the tracks on there. I know the name of the album. I, I don't recall um, any of the tracks. Uh, let me see. Um, rock and Roll Doctor, Dirty Women. I love both oh. those tracks. Okay. Uh, Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Backstreet Kids, excuse me. I was going to say Backstreet Boys, yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I want it that way. You know, you know, so. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's it's like, this was the last, uh, second to last album with Ozzy, because after Escape, Never Say Die. Which I think "Never Say Die" is an iconic cover with the two. It's a great cover. The album is not good, but it's a great cover. That's not a good album. That really. No. There's like one, one or two tracks. They were like with us, but yeah, they're done. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like technical ecstasy, huh? Hmm. And you bought it. Yeah, you still bought it. it. Mm -hmm. But you well, still yeah, bought it. Well, it's because I'm a savage. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna drying it right home, aren't you, Montag? Yeah, but it was you know this is the 2016. It came out with their old remasters for like five bucks. Okay. So, and I'm like, yeah. I'll take the hell yeah. All right. But yeah, so, that was my next choice. All right. So now Amber got something to make fun of uh chop top with there. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> your, your wasp shirt. Um, okay. Uh my number three. I I this is very exciting to share. This is from a band that we know called Pantera. <laughs> and um there. Pantera, Metal Magic. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Now this was um looks like it was done in a uh like for a sixth grade art project. I was just gonna say the same thing. I want grader. you I want you to design an album cover with your favorite invented animal, and it's like Napoleon's like, well, it's a liger, it's cross between a lion and a tiger, known for its powers yeah. and magic. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best thing I've ever done. You know. Yeah. This, um, you know, and, and this is when they were, they did like three or four albums before they got a big, it was their hair metal style. So this is a totally yeah. different kind of Pantera. Totally different I Pantera, I know, but uh, I just think it's but interesting that, how, is it, I mean, this looks like there could have been their very first album, you know, and they probably paid like some guy 50 of, oh. bucks, probably, yeah, yeah, some guy 50 bucks in pot. Hey man, could you yeah. draw this really cool fucking album cover? We want like a lion thing with a sword. You know, yeah, fuck and, it. It's already in a coloring book. Just rip out the page and put it on our cover, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get a van. I'm gonna have this painted on the side of the van. Yeah, how and I'm gonna have that? something like ass catch on the back of that van yeah. or pussy wagon. Oh. You know, people wagon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, so... you want to take take a ride, my sweet ride, a metal magic ride. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> not a rocket ride. It's metal magic, man. Pantera. Excellent. You like Pantera? <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> well, hop in, bud. Come on in the shagging that's wagon. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right, oh, man. God. Yeah, Woo! that was a good choice. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's bad. That's it's just you know. Just uh, it's just a bad album cover. So, all right, yeah. uh, man, we are flying through this. That was number three for me. Um, mm -hmm. it's gonna be our shortest episode ever. Uh, people are gonna so. be begging. Hey, can you do more, tw more twenty more <laughs> twenty minute episodes, please? Oh, we can find them. Trust us. <laughs> we might uh, we might get more viewers. They're like, oh, an hour and a half. Fuck, I'm not listening to that. Uh, okay. <laughs> How do you think we feel? No, no, no. We love it. We gotta listen to ourselves. Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on, where's my sock? Um, <laughs> next, oh, number two for Chop. What's your number two? Number two for this list, Megadeth. So far, so good. So what? Oh, okay. I do not like the way Vic Rattlehead looks. So you come off that iconic album art of Peace Cells, but who's buying? And you come up with this, and it's some just computer graft. You know, it's, it's generated. It's not even art. You know. Uh, art i mean as far as drawn on there or anything it just and i don't like the way, way vic looks on it vic it's, Rattlehead. it's megadeth's just, dance of death very good call yeah yeah and i'm just like yeah so it's like dance of megadeth we're gonna, we're gonna call yeah, it dance it, of megadeth yeah <laughs> yeah it, it's uh it's just it's it, it, now what's inside the album is a great album yeah in my opinion but that artwork, man, that's just fucking terrible. And Megadeth has a lot, a lot of um, album covers that are just brilliant. Yeah, you know, Rust, Rust in Peace so, is awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. yeah so that. yeah, that was my number two for this segment. Megadeth, so far, so good, so what? Okay, ooh, fantastic. Um, I'm really excited about number two here. Let me get it. There we go. Yeah, this is a little band that we both know. We're both familiar with. It's a big name band. And uh this this well, I'm just gonna have to share it. There it is. Scorpions fly to the oh, rainbow. Oh, oh, that's God. And yeah. uh yeah, I, I I don't know what's going on here. You know, God just shouts at you when you put it up on the screen. Like, yeah, wow. it's like a guy with like a weird welding mask, and uh, he's holding a key that holds out the rainbow, and his feet are actually airplanes. <laughs> yeah, there's so much wrong here. I mean, and just the just the the you know the band's logo and how bright and gaudy that is. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, the color schemes. Ooh. There was a choice, and this is the one crossover. So Amber, Amber Dawn, uh, we had we had she had showed her um, her top five list for support mm -hmm. to me, and there was another Scorpions album cover on that list. Um, do you know the one? It, it's like a Spinal Tap, like smell the glove. It's got the dog and the <laughs> the girl oh, on her knees. Animal magnetism. Animal magnetism. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I ridiculous. almost I almost picked that because like I'm like, obedient. God, it's yeah, the chick's all obedient. Like yeah, yeah. It's all. It's, I'll smell smell it the glove. It's yeah. Smell the glove. It's fucking smell the glove. <laughs> and I'm like scorpions, man. What the fuck is wrong with you guys, man? But I mean, now it was just it was just part of that bravado of the of the seventies and eighties. That was all. It was all that really? swagger, you know. Now we would recoil. Oh no, you know. But no, it, it's just it's just it is so spinal tap. It's just it is smell the glove. And I have to wonder. <laughs> right. This is this is Pretty where they got this idea, right? This has to be where they got smell the glove from. I mean, bro. Yeah. yeah. So so that was uh, yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Fly to the Fantasy. Do you know that album? Is that an album? I that don't you know? really. I think I know that's one of the tracks. Are Speedy's coming? I think on there. This was their '70s stuff, I believe. Right? I don't know. You know, you have to reverse. What was the maybe track? If, if the party's in your mouth, I'm coming. Is that? Wait a minute. No, that's that's <laughs> yeah. Snatch. Speedy, yeah, Snatch. Speedy's coming. But um, <laughs> Speedy's coming. Okay. Yeah, but no, I, I do remember. I, I've seen that before, but I, I God, I don't even think you can. I don't know if it's available anymore or not, but mm -hmm. uh, some of the 70s stuff is brilliant by the Scorpions. Oh, yeah. I really it, like I really like yeah. the earlier Scorpions music. I, you know, I just mm -hmm. got into it recently, like last year, actually, because Scorpions is a band. That I remember that, you know, they were big in the 80s, and I like some of their songs. I saw them once. 
Um, mm-hmm. But I just don't seek them out. You know, like the albums right. with wind, Winds of Change, I don't like it. Oh, they're really hit and miss, especially their, you know, more recent stuff. Now, I've not heard the new album with Mickey D, so I have no idea uh, what it is, if it's good it's or not. It's pretty good. Is it's it? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, but I really like their early sound. Yeah, but that <laughs> album, though, fuck, man. Surprise Space, I got that album, the new, <laughs> the new Scorpion so far <laughs> Wait, wait. Hold, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm waiting. Let's hold for uh, this. And this episode is Chop Top buys another CD. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I'd say there's like two tracks I'm not fond of. Some of the lyrical writing on, on the one song is just atrocious. You're like, oh my God, that's your chorus. But give it a shot because it does get, and Mickey plays, you know, he plays to fit the Scorpions, of course. Mm-hmm. He doesn't really go off on all this, you know, that he can. Yeah, he's course, a great power he, drummer. He's just, mm-hmm. he's just a wrong drummer for this band. You know, yeah, agreed. he's just, Mickey should play for like Halloween and things like any other power oh, metal band, God, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Agree. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just, I even wrote to him on, on uh, Facebook and said, man, I bet you just sometimes just want to break out into overkill or bomber, you know, <laughs> or, um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, and he didn't respond back to that, but I just, I just said, Hey, you're one of my favorite drummers. And I just got back, you know, Hey, thank you for writing or I appreciate that. I'm like, okay, cool. But I don't think it was him. I think it was whoever's managing his page. Because uh, yeah. I would have said, hey, by the way, but we have friends in the know. We've interviewed people who know people. You know? Right. So yeah. we're going to put the word All out. Mickey, welcome. Mickey, welcome. Mickey yeah. D, you're coming our way. Uh-huh. Um, whew, wow. Uh, you know. <laughs> okay. We so could have chose now, 10 and made it go longer probably. But hey, we can always do <laughs> hey, it's okay. segments of there. That's right. We're, yeah. we're padding this episode for yeah. you kids. Uh-huh. Head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, what's your number one worst album of all time? Chop top. For this segment, I have a trifecta by the same band. <laughs> oh no! Now, now, um, I I couldn't find the one, but it's it's the same fucking cover as the first one. And I'm gonna <laughs> hit it off with fucking load. <laughs> Yes, that was on my because list too. That is a load of fucking shit. I'll tell you right, because here you got, oh, hey, let's have a bright idea. We'll name it Load. We'll cut our hair. We'll smoke cigars and wear Maybelline. And by the way, we'd like this artist's blood and cum, and we're going to fucking smear it on there and say, hey, that's a fucking load. Yeah, it's a load of shit. It's horrible. So, yeah, so that's my one there. Now, the second one, of course, is Reload. Like I said, same fucking thing. So get a look at it, kids, because uh, you'll never forget it. Shot right in the face. Metallica is so, a seminal band, but we don't want to see their semen so, on the album cover. Right. Yeah, I get that. Jesus. So I just like, this is what you put out. You know, even after the blackout, this is the first thing. And I'm like, wow. Okay. This might be 2023, at least. The gaudiest, ugliest fucking album cover of that year. And I'm going to get hell for it because I'm still a fan. I'm still a fan of Metallica. This is 72 seasons. Oh, I. That's fucking ugly. What is it? A baby crib and a bunch of toys yeah, and shit on the floor? Broken crib, a bunch oh. of shit on the floor. There's broken guitar. Is that guitar. thematic? Is that thematic in the album? I've not listened to it. Yeah, it's uh, it's, about, it's supposedly about the first 72 seasons, first 18 years of life. Um, okay. Oh, now, I yeah. see. Okay. But and then, the, then the back's like this and make out 72 or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Here's the interesting thing. Here's the thing I really want to. I'm going to go off on a rant here. Like All I'm right. Anyway. We got time. Yeah, we're padding the time. This is the worst motherfucking packaging I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you got a slip case. Whatever. Did you take it out? Yeah. Ooh, 72 seasons, right? Cover. And then you got the band like this. You know, you can have pictures of the band. But it folds out like this. And this. Oh, I'm not done. Oh, it and turns into this. a giant cross. And then you get no, and then you get the CD right in the fucking middle after all oh. this fucking shit you gotta fumble through. <laughs> Nowhere on the outside of it, Montag, do you have the song listings? It's all the way in the inside and folded in on all that shit. Wow. And then they got the booklet and it's sitting right on top of the CD. So you know what that reminds me of? When I I, I fucked around with it a little bit when I got because I was pissed. It's like a Chinese fucking takeout box. Oh, nice. Okay. So is it that fucking horrible? You got to go through all that work. I just want to listen to fucking music. I don't have to dig through shit. Give me some uh, General Sos Metallica, please. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man, this is just, 
this, this is the worst fucking idea for a packaging thing for a CD. This is and that awful. was really expensive too to make. I mean, Metallica can afford it. Well, they, yeah, yeah, they're but that was, they that own... die cut and that that odd shape and stuff like that's fucking expensive. Yeah, I mean, not yeah. in the and people aren't buying albums like they used to these days. Of course, you know, some sucker. I mean, some people are, but um, well, uh, I will. I'm going to correct you right now, Montag. CDs are on the rise back. You know, it's even sadder though. Fucking cassette rad. tapes are coming back. Yeah, I keep on seeing shit on Facebook Marketplace and people like, selling yeah, and buy like old that's technology. That. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm no. sorry. I, I, I'm, I, I love cassettes, but. I'm I'm pure I'm a pure MP3 man. I love having my CDs because you know that's the last couple of CDs I bought. I think the last one I bought actually bought was that um, Exorcist triple disc. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. And uh, but I'm so <laughs> grateful, and we're gonna we're gonna I'm hinting at future episodes, kid. Oh, we're, we're gonna, gonna rant. On we're, stuff. we're gonna be doing yeah. some first track the listens, tapes. frenzies. We're gonna be listening to a lot of music because the. Record companies who have been reaching out to us and working with us have been incredibly generous and giving us records and saying, please review this. So we're going to try to, to do some more live reaction reviews. So absolutely. Yeah. So, wow. Okay. Well, chop. That's, that's uh, number that's, one. That's, that's my number that's one. That's your number one. Kid. Excellent. Yeah. My number one is almost like that. Um, little different. I'm going to share my screen. And here we go. Ah, oh, 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 great album, morning, <laughs> night on Brocken. Yeah, um, we love Fate's Warning, oh. but here we have another person in Mrs. Johnson's sixth grade art class designing a fantasy album cover based on The Hobbit. <laughs> And I just want to hear, I hear like the song from Holy Grail, bravely ran away, oh, brave, bravely ran away. Um, yeah. Again, this is probably one of those things where, look, uh, it's an early album cover and someone was really nice enough to uh, to do it, you know, the fantasy yeah. stuff. But it's, you could see the, excuse me. I got another one. I'll edit that out. Thank you. Um, but you know, it's, it's obviously someone has drawn this. You can see, looks like marker or, or colored pencil kind of things. Now, if I drew this, cause my artistic, you know, ability is zero. I can draw stick figures. If I drew this, I'd be like, fuck, look what I did. It's like the fucking Mona Lisa. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but you expect from an established act, you expect from a, a metal or hard rock band, you're going to put more effort than something like this. Right. So, Unless it was some kind of like gimmicky contest they had, like, hey, draw the new Fates Warning album cover, and they picked it out of a hat, and like, mm, I hope this guy did an all right job. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's very well, immature. That album, that's a great album, anyways. Oh but, yeah, I'm yeah, big covers. fans. Love, love Fates Warning. Mm -hmm. Um, but if if this was a first exposure to it, I would look at it and be like, no, no, I'm, no, I'm giving a pass. I'm yeah. just just not mm. going to, not going to do it. You know. <laughs> Um, oh wow! Wow, yeah. Now, now, because five was really difficult, we usually could have had ten. I did have one. Uh, also ran. Um, did you have any extra albums covers that you could? Uh, um, I don't think have about? a prop with me, but the, yeah, I got one. Here we go. And it's a band we love. So, what band would that? Go ahead. What that would be? Oh, like. okay. The uh, the band is Rush. Hold your fire. Oh really? I love I love the album. Uh -huh. I don't like the art. Just really? this all red fucking uh, yeah, it's just like with the bland. three orbs. It's, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Again, they've well, had the some three because of them. Of it. You know, three of them. Yeah, of course that represents. But just the the, the it's red. That's it. I'm like, hold yeah. your fire. What about fire? Anything speaks to me on this other than the color red. The red album. But yeah. it's just saturated in it. But it is. We love that album. And we I love, love the band. So it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I always That's liked the album man. cover. I always liked it. I always thought okay. that uh, the three three discs were like the orbs, like balls of fire. You know, I always kind of took it that way. Oh, okay. Maybe I didn't. And I more of like an artsy thing. Okay. But, you know, I think there are other Rush albums that are less successful. Power Windows um, is not particularly good. Neither is Grace Under Pressure. Um, is not a particularly yeah. strong album cover. Uh, neither is Test for Echo, you know. so oh, no. But for the or, or and everything. Or yeah. Permanent Waves. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. 
you know, it's just like, what the fuck? Some girl's walking and the wind's blowing her skirt up. Like, what? I can't listen to this. My mom and dad will get mad at me for looking at this girl's underwear. I'll get this. Mark Allen, what are you doing to yourself? Not to rush, mom. Uh, what's with the sock, Mark Allen? Yeah. <laughs> These socks are so heavy. I don't know. They're sports socks. I was having sport. Okay. Um, I might show a couple of these because they're pretty bad. So um, <laughs> this first one, oh, this this first one um, is uh, by a band called Boned. <laughs> and the uh, album is called Up at the Crack. <laughs> oh. wow. Up at the Crack. Yeah. And I thought, okay, this is either the best album cover of all time or the worst. And that's that's why I didn't make the list because it, it could be also one of the best album covers of all time. Because it is true. true. I could see it I is, can see the side. It's yeah. I mean the, the the font for Bone looks like A C D C a little bit. Yeah. Um it is it is but the up at the crack is written in that goofy script that was really big in the eighties. Um and the uh the spinal tap. You know, it's like, again, here's Spinal Tap. Uh, we're seeing. Yeah, I was, was thinking very, very, very tap kind of cover, man. Oh, yeah. Very totally. Tap-ish. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. <laughs> and, th- and and this was an, another one. Let's see. We did Iron Maiden. Yeah. Except Balls to the Wall. Uh, yeah. It's like, I, I get Great it. Album, he's, but, he's, but. he's holding his balls. I get it. I get it. Right. Um yeah, there were there were a few other ones I had. Um Druid Vampire Cult. Again, it looked like it was someone had to just hand drawn it. Uh band called Torch Riot, Rustless Breed was really, really bad. Band called Mortis. Ooh. You know, I think I'm gonna show Mortis. I'm just gonna Oh yeah, for real. Yeah. And uh yeah, we got time, right? We're not going anywhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's more Mortis. <laughs> oh my God! With the bugaloos, it looks like it looks like a bugaloo flying around, right? I mean, <laughs> and I thought, okay, I, 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 yeah, I like great. I, yeah. How do you even explain that? Here's a vampire in space with a skull for a cod piece. <laughs> And he's got wings, or I mean, that's what I'm guessing. He's just looking down, like, but he's also got these kind of goblin like features, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Speaking Boiled of goblin, boy, boy. we need to we need to get back and 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 for goblin, uh, what was it? Or oh, troll rather? We need to talk with the star of troll too and see if he can get oh, back. Yeah, on. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so there's there's that. Um, Great man! Well, that was that was good. That was a good episode. Uh, a lot of fun. As, yeah. as I said, you know, I, I had you had me on a few surprises. I'd expect you know you'd go more from the mainstream acts, and you didn't. But you had excellent choices. Well, and, I was uh, I, yeah, there. It was hard to pick only five. Uh, you know, sure, a ten sure, would have been uh, you know much a little more. We, yeah, we could, but but then because there's a lot of a lot of stuff, and I was really trying to go things that people might know and also like when i came across like oh fuck that one that, yeah, i gotta get yeah. that i gotta come on now and i there, I, I, I think pantera wins wins this yeah the pantera is pretty bad there's a lot cool. of these big name bands that were like oh fuck i didn't know they had these things and a lot of these other bands like druid i'm sure it's like maybe it's a college band or some like local band and i get that you know that's the difference but yeah there was some really <laughs> amazingly bad artwork out there you know still better than what i could draw so yeah but, uh, i used to be able to draw a long time ago but long long time ago but now i just draw flies you know that's pretty much <laughs> all i'm doing you too yeah Ugh. the stench of death is upon me uh yeah. well you know <laughs> amber dawn thank you so much for this great idea we'd love to see your top five list or worst five <laughs> sometime so please send it to Actually, our yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Go ahead. Well, I said, and it goes out to all our viewers. We'd like to see what you think are your. You can put in your list in the comments of what some of your worst album cover picks are. We'd we'd love to hear from you. Please, yeah, 
thank you for everyone who writes in. Thank you mm -hmm. for all your new uh, subscribers and uh, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Keep your comments coming. Uh, so, hey, <clears throat> you can find Heavy Metal Horror Podcast on uh, Heavy Metal Horror on UnsaneRadio.com. You can listen to full episodes or download to your device. You can find us on Facebook, Heavy Metal Horror Podcast. On Instagram, look for Montag Lewis, one word. Our YouTube page, Heavy Metal Horror Podcast. If you're watching, that's where you're at. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you know someone who'd like our show, tell them about us. This has been Montag, Master of Illusion. And Chop Top. And you've been watching and listening to the top five worst heavy metal horror episode of all time. Heavy metal horror. Heavy metal horror. This is Doug Helbring, and you have been listening to Heavy Metal Horror, the best podcast that you've never heard before. <laughs>